हिस्ट्री पर आशिक्ति विद्यालय सी बी एस ई क्लास फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू फोर्थ साइंस ऑनलाइन क्लास इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्ड चैप्टर क्लॉथ्स वे वियर दैट वी डिस्कस्ड वाई डू वी वियर क्लॉथ्स ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फाइबर्स एंड फैब्रिक्स all clothes are made from fabrics if you look closely at any fabric we can see that it is made up of many thin threads these thin threads are called yarns weaving or knitting yarns together forms a fabric each yarn is further made up of many long and very thin strands called fibers so thin threads are called yarns weaving or knitting yarns together forms a fabric each yarn is further made up of many long and very thin strands called fibers fibers may be natural or man made okay what is weaving and knitting weaving is a method in which cloth is mowed by two thread criss crossing together a method in which cloth is mowed by two thread criss crossing together that is weaving knitting means a method by which a single yarn is twisted into a series of loops to make cloth a method by which a single yarn is twisted into a series of loops to make cloth so that is weaving and knitting okay there are two types of fibers natural fiber and man made fiber first one natural fibers natural fibers are obtained from either plants or animals that is the fibers we get from plant or animals are called natural fibers example from plants we get cotton and linen and wool and silk from animals next one synthetic fibers fibers that are not found naturally and are made by man are called synthetic or man made fibers that is the fibers which are made by man are called synthetic fibers or man made fibers example nylon and polyester most fabrics made from synthetic fibers are strong and can last long they are stretchable lightweight wrinkle free and can be waterproof so synthetic fibers are made by man example nylon or polyester The most fabrics made from synthetic fibers are strong and can last long. They are stretchable, lightweight, wrinkle-free and can be waterproof. Next care of clothes. We need to look after our clothes. Clothes should be washed well with a good soap or detergent to remove all the sweat, dirt and stains. So clothes should be washed well with a good soap or detergent next woolen and silk clothes need a lot of care because they are easily attacked by small insects such as moth and silver fish woolen and silk clothes need a lot of care because they are easily attacked by small insects such as moth and silver fish so when you store woolen and silk clothes you should keep moth balls or dried neem leaves along with them these keep the insects away so when you store woolen or silk clothes you should keep moth balls or dried neem leaves along with them these keep the insects away next one woolen coats and trousers should be dry cleaned they may get damaged by plain washing so woolen coats and trousers should be dry cleaned okay third chapter is over we'll discuss the book exercise and question answer in the next class thank you